This is no good. Grab that branch. Under here. We can't get him this way. Let's work around the edge of the cliff. Can you talk? Remember, I'm not the one who shot you. What I want to know is who led you in the attack on the wagon train? Bad man, half-breed, came to us in the hills, paid his money to fight wagon men. Who is he? Black Jack Sam. Yes, I've heard of him. You know where he is now? Old line shack, Sand Canyon. Looks like we're late. This horse is where Quavar is. Maybe he went there. They might have at that. Let's go. He is dead. Yeah. What if he talked to a lot ago before he died? We better get into town quick and tell our own story about that raid. Come on. Osco here is from the reservation. He can tell you what happened. Go on, tell him. You got nothing to be afraid of. Crane says you're a good Indian. All that we want to know is whether your tribe was in on that attack on the wagon train. Many of my people were there. That's all we need to know. We'll get plenty of action now. And I'd like to see Randall or anybody else talk us out of cleaning up that reservation. So you caught one of them, too. Well, now you know. This Indian here was... Isn't that Blackjack, Sam? That's right. He's wanted for stagecoach robbery, rustling, and just about everything else. I'm turning him over to the sheriff. But first, he's going to tell us about the Indian raid on the wagon train. We know all about that. This Indian has admitted it was that tribe from the reservation. He lied. Tell him about it, Blackjack. Yeah. I get the rope anyway. But I don't want to take all the blame. Those were not reservation Indians. Who were they then? They were renegades from the hills. I was hired to get them together and do the job. Who hired you? Uh... <laughs> Throw guns in bucket. Quick! You too.
tight. These guns will have to be clean before they'll ever fire again. Go out the back way and help Tosca. There's another gun on my desk. He didn't spot me. And the shooting's quit, so Tosco must have gotten away. That's some help. I had Tosco pretty well pinned down until somebody opened up on me from the alley. I had to let him get away. Never did see who was shooting at me. Do you suppose it was Crane? Well, it could be. But I can't prove it, and I haven't got enough on him to get him arrested. Of course you have. He tried to kill you twice. No, not me. Tried to kill a lot ago. But he can't very well go to the sheriff and ask for a warrant against Crane. No, I guess not. Well, anyway, we know who our most dangerous enemy is. That's for sure. Nancy, the sheriff asked me to take him out to Blackjack's cabin, and I'll have to do it. I wonder if you'd uh, sort of stick around town here and keep an eye on Crane. Might help us to know what he's up to. Of course I will. Good. I'll be back at the ranch in a couple of hours. I'll stop by on my way home. Terry Randall sure fixed us up again. Nobody believed Tosco's story now. No doubt about that. We'll have a tough time trying to get anybody to even think about attacking the reservation after this. So, if we can't get the ranchers to attack the Indians, we'll work it the other way around. What do you mean by that? We'll make the Indians mad enough to go on the warpath by themselves. Shoot up their village or burn it. Might work if it could be done. But I don't think even Tosco would help me on that job. You can do it yourself. Load the wagon with coal oil and haul it up on top of that hill behind the village. Then light the coal oil and turn the wagon loose down onto the teepees. Well, it's worth trying. town with a wagon load of coal oil and took the south road for the reservation. Coal oil? Well, what's he doing with that? I don't know. Of course, it may not be important, but I thought I could... Any time Crane goes near the reservation, it's important. I better get out there and see what he's up to. Thanks, Nancy.